is TBP TV News broadcasting live from Brekuso. My name is Seobed. This is the headlines of the bulletin. Abna Ose Asari resigns as non-executive director of ADB. Asen in Suta Agriculture ASHS clash leaves several injured, five hospitalized. We were paid $105,000 for African Games, not $3 million. GBC boss contradicts sports minister. Let's dive into the stories. The Minister of State at the Ministry of Finance, Abena Ose Asari, has stepped down from her role as a non-executive director of the Agriculture Development Bank, PLC, effective August 7, 2024. After six years of dedicated service, Ose Asari leaves the role after playing a pivotal role in the bank's operation, notably chairing the risk committee during her tenure. According to a citynewsroom.com report, her resignation comes as she assumes new and significant roles as the board member of both the Bank of Ghana and the Financial Stability Council, which have prompted her departure from ADB PLC. In a statement, ADB PLC expressed its gratitude for her contributions with board chairman Dasibre Ekuyamwa a Japan the second acknowledging her effort in fostering the bank's growth and development over the years. On behalf of the board, management, and staff, the board chairman, Dasibre Ekuyamwa e Japon II, expressed appreciation to Abena Osei Asari for her invaluable contributions to the growth and development of ADB PLC during her tenure. The report stated, Moving on to another story, a violent crash between Form 2 and Form 3 student at Asen Insuta Agriculture Senior High School in the central region has left several students injured, with five currently receiving treatment in the hospital. The altercation reportedly started when a Form 3 student was caught in a romantic encounter with a Form 1 student in an unfinished building on the school premises. Bashiru Kwame Amakra, the assemblyman for the Asin Insuta Bipokoko Electra area, explained that the situation escalated after the Form 3 student slapped a Form 2 student who witnessed the incident. In response, Form 2 student mobilized three days later and launched an attack on a Form 3 student, leading to a chaotic brawl. The confrontation saw students using clubs and knives against each other. The situation only came under control after police intervention, which successfully restored order on campus. Moving on to the world of sports. Professor Amin Al Hassan, Director General of Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, has debunked claims that the state broadcasting network was paid $3 million to cover the 2023 Afghan Games. Professor Al Hassan stated categorically that GBC earned $105,000 from their coverage and not $3 million, as revealed by the Minister of Youth and Sports. Mustafa Yusuf during his appearance before the Public Account Committee. I want to state that GBC's total benefit from the African Games was $105,000. Nothing more was paid to GBC, he said in an interview with Unique FM. He further indicated that GBC was only notified to broadcast the games about a month before the start. The GBC was invited to the table barely one month before the games. Meanwhile, the minister, during his meeting with the Public Account Committee on Monday, August 19, 2024, mentioned that his ministry paid $3 million to GBC to broadcast the games. GBC was the official broadcaster for the 13th All African Games, and I can confirm that full payment has been made to GBC. I can't remember the exact amount, but I know that it is in excess of $3 million, Mustafa Yusuf said. The minister's revelation sparked a public uproar as many Ghanaians have concerns about the ministry spending such a whooping amount on broadcasting. That's all for the news. The recap of the headlines. Abena Osei Asari resigns as non-executive director of ADB. Asin Insuta Agriculture SHS clash leaves several injured, five hospitalized. We were paid $105,000 for African Games, not $3 million. GBC boss contradict sports minister. Thanks for watching TBP TV. 
My name is Obed. I'm out.